This is Castaways SMP, where nine girls are stuck on a cluster of islands in the middle of nowhere and we're just trying to survive. I've been doing some diamond mining because my pants are still iron and I found heaps of diamonds, I think this was a vein of nine. But even better, I dug into this cave and look at what we found. Two glares. Okay, I'm coming back up so that I can get a lead so that I can get a glare. I think they're also tameable with glowberries, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any glowberries. We can probably get some off somebody else later on. But for now we have one lead for one glare. That is, if I can even find where I was. I've never had such a messy strip mine before, I swear. This is chaos. Glare, I've come back for you, well, one of you. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. They're so cute, they look kind of worried. He's just a little bush with eyes. Come on, little Glare. If you guys didn't know, this was in the Minecraft mob vote a couple of years ago, I think. And he lost to the LA, but now he is a modded mob. And I love him. And you can go exactly where my homeless mushrooms were. In my bedroom. We definitely need a name for you. I think we're going to call you Shrub. Because you're a shrub. We don't have a name tag for you, but that is your name. And now to focus on what we were actually meant to be doing. I was gathering diamonds and we need to make some leggings. And then we need to do some enchanting, which means that we need to get XP, which means that we need the zombie farm. I believe it's over here somewhere. Let's head over and get some levels. Oh, it looks like Seven Frog had built their shop on top of it. What the heck? This is so pretty. We've got a little garden out the front. What have we got? employees only and on this side we have the hat shop and i think the way down to the zombie farm oh my gosh should we buy a hat which hat should we buy i like that apple oh, i also like the bee although i think what's really cute about this one oh my gosh this is already adorable oh, it trips honey particles oh it makes a noise oh no i'm making a mess in the shop <laughs> there's honey everywhere but also i saw someone was it sev do this and oh, you can get a rainbow one Okay, I'm gonna try it and buy it. Look at me, it's so cute. Oh, I'm making such a mess. Let me go grab stuff to trade for. Okay, this is a very random collection of stuff I happen to have, which I feel like these seem a bit useless, but I know Froggy lives near a sea temple, so I don't know. Maybe she'll wanna make a conduit one day? Or not, I don't know. Anyway, let's head down to the zombie farm. Look at me, I'm a bee. I kinda look like a television. And from here, this is very hard to read. You are free to farm zombies, but please do not take the hats. Sounds good to me. Ooh, babies. Once I had 32 levels, I went over to the enchanting setup and got some shiny new enchants. Okay, well, I think that's enough enchanting. Also, I found out there's another variant of this little bee hat. It's kind of hard to see. I think it's a trans flag, which slay, but it also matches my outfit. Like, perfectly. And saying that, the honey dripping sounds are driving me kind of crazy, so we might have to take it off for a little bit. Oh, and I didn't put the lapis back. Does anyone else always forget to put the lapis in the lapis chest? And then I have to go all the way back, and then it defeats the purpose of convenient lapis chest. Then when I was sitting outside at my nice house, enjoying a bit of a relax, Seth came by. Oh, Brooke. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're there. Hi. I didn't even see you. <laughs> I'm actually here because I heard you have green dye and I need it for my sheep. I do have green dye. I think, wait, it's not in my inventory. Come in. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is the only green dye on these whole islands. Oh my gosh, you have three? Wait, mm -hmm. so that means I can make lime dye and I can make cyan dye and green dye and then we can have it on the wall. Yay! Yes. Is this, so this is for can your I sheep? Have? Yes, you yes, can. Yes, for my sheep. I actually also brought you some wool. Oh, perfect. As a that gift. is what I need. Then Seth told me she was actually making a wool farm. So I negotiated full access to the wool farm. And she said it's not finished yet, but we went to have a look at it. Sheep farm. Oh, yeah. Ow. It's like an ad. <laughs> Sheep farm open today. So um, it's a bit unfinished. Don't, don't judge me. Okay. It's very okay. ugly. They're on little, I love how they're on little platforms. That's so cute. Oh, nice. Okay, Ooh, lots of orange. Much. Then I told Steve that I had a new grocery store open, so I took her to see that. Sheep farm. No, grocery store. Grocery store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, oh yeah. Perfect. We have some stock upstairs. You can take a bit of whatever you like. Since you gave me such a good deal with the wool. Can I take a rotten tomato? Yes, I don't even know what they're for, but you can take it. Let me know if you figure out what to do with it. Can I? Wait, I just threw it. Wait, it's gone. Did it just, it's gone. It's gone. No, you just my threw tomato. it at me. My tomato. I guess that's what you do with it. <laughs> so I parted ways with Sev and now we're much richer in wool. And with all that sorted, I'd like to get started on our main kind of project for the day. So let's start planting some trees and gathering some wood because now that we have loads of modded crops, I want to start trying some modded cooking. So we're going to build a kitchen. I also want some of these pink leaves for the build. Okay, I think we have everything and we're going to build our little kitchen on this island with our shop. Our shop sells food, so I was thinking they'll kind of go together. It'll be kind of like people could buy food and then come use the kitchen to cook for free if they want to. So we've got a similar block palette to our shop. They can be a little bit matchy. And we have this die right for the walls. Let's see, what can we do with it? Oh my gosh, these variants are so much prettier than the original. Okay, I think I want a bunch of the bricks though. We love a good brick. And if we pair that with calcite, I think, yes, that'll be nice. So I've kind of laid out how I think I might want this to go. I want it to be really open. So we're gonna have kind of a big open archway as the door. Somewhere like here. And then we'll have some spruce pillars and this can be a wall. It's gonna be kind of little, but I don't think it'll need to be big. Okay, so you come in here and this is the kitchen. I think this will be good. So let's build it up. And we have a cute little kitchen house. It's very matchy with the other build, but that's okay. They're on a little island together, so it's kind of cute. We've got it so it's very open plan. You can just kind of walk right in and we'll have all the kitchen stuff over here. But I also want to transform the area around it a little bit more, make this island look as good as it can. So we'll want a path of some sort going from the kitchen to the shop. And then also coming along this other side to meet up with my island. And eventually we'll bridge over there somehow. Okay, then border in the path, we can have some of these pink leaves. Or pink and lavender. I'm gonna have to make more, but we can also do some little fences along here. Oh, and a lantern on it. Then we want all the pink and purple flowers. And I took down some birch trees to build, but I think we'll go get some saplings and replant them. And I almost forgot furniture. We've got these little benches. We can make them into outdoor seating. Maybe we go like this. And with that, I think our island is looking way more pretty and decorated. And I've started working on the interior of our kitchen. So we have this little sign that says kitchen. And then this is not fully decorated, but this is the start of the kitchen. We've got a little island and these little cupboards. I think we can no, we can't open them. Okay. And we've got this little kitchen themed cookies painting, but I want to add the actual kitchen supplies. So we have a knife. I think this can go on the, yes it can, on the cutting board. And then I got two of these stoves because there are two different things that we can put on them. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. So we have, oh, maybe this doesn't go on it. Oh, yes it does. A skillet and a cooking pot. The cooking pot is so cute. Oh, it bubbles. And we've got an advancement, dinner served. Okay, this is adorable and it should fill all of our cooking needs. I think there's quite a few things we can cook in this pot. And the skillet might work by, I think you can put, let's give it a go. I think you put raw food in it and it cooks it. Let's see if we can find it a fish. Okay, where are all the fish? Come here little fishy. And then if we go, wait, oh, it worked. Wait, they're all in there. Oh, this is so cute. One of them's cooked. This is so cute! Okay, I'm gonna grab a few ingredients and we'll see if we can use the big pot.
Okay, I think all of this stuff should make a stuffed pumpkin. Oh, it worked. And the thing I'm most excited about is this is meant to be, oh, it's placeable. Oh, it's definitely bigger than I thought it would be. Maybe this will be our one to eat. You need a bowl. Uh, okay. Oh, cute. It's a bowl of stuffed pumpkin. Okay, how about we try roast chicken? I think we can manage that. We just need to go get a chicken and some bread. We've already got an egg and potato. Okay, I think we got everything for it. We could definitely do with a chicken coop though, because I am going to run out of eggs and chicken fast. Wait, nothing's happening. Did I do this wrong? Oh my gosh, it's a crafting table. It doesn't use a cooking pot. I am so silly. Oh my gosh, it's an actual chicken. This is way too cute. I don't want to eat it. I think shepherd's pie is also a good one. Oh, we don't have any mutton. Oh, this one looks really good. It's like a sushi plate, but it requires a lot of unusual things. This one requires cutting it on the cutting board. Okay, let's try this. One step at a time, we'll get the kelp. And then we cook some kelp. Then rice, rice, carrot, kelp, kelp roll. And I have no idea how to do the next bit. Do we go like this and then... <gasps> okay. Okay, we have kelp, salmon, cod, and bowl. What does it look like? Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing. That was so much effort, but totally worth it. Okay, I kind of want to fill the kitchen with even more dishes, but we need some more of these counters to go over here. We don't have a lot of space to put things, but these are made with calcite. And after building this house, we are completely out of calcite. So I'm going to go visit Sparkle Egg because I think she's found a couple of geodes. So maybe she'll have calcite for trade. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, your hat is so cute. Oh, thank you. I like your rainbow thingy. It's very cosmic. Thank you. I was coming over because I know that you, you have amethyst geodes and calcite and I'm always in need of a bit of calcite. I've kind of run out. Yes, I do have some calcite. So I can give you a bit of calcite um, in return for me shopping at your grocery store. And then I can also show you the skeleton farm if you want me to, so you can get some bone meal. So it turned out Sparkle has a double skeleton spawner under her base. So she showed me down and said I could use it. And I also took a stack of bones with me. Then it was time to show her my grocery shop. So feel free to take anything. Like you can take a bit of everything if you want. Okay. Do you have any wheat? Wheat. Of all things. Wheat. Uh, yes. That's the only thing I don't have. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will take, I like myself a good potato, so I'll take some potatoes. The disappointment was very apparent, so I let her come over to my house and harvest some wheat. Okay, I do feel kind of bad because I know she specifically needed a lot of wheat for modern building blocks, but at least we got the calcite, so we can finish off our kitchen. So we take chests and then go like this. That is looking perfect, and in the future I'll add some more cooked foods over here. And let's end by having some delicious pumpkin. But with our kitchen built and this little island transformed, I think that will be all for today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!